New at 6 tonight, a Louisville company is using new technology to study lightning strikes in Colorado. They discovered last year's strikes were down 10% in the state. Dylan Thomas talked to the scientists about why that's happening. When we operate a lightning detection network in the U.S., and one that covers the entire globe. When it comes to understanding lightning patterns, we can pinpoint the location of where the lightning hit the ground to within about two football fields. Americans often rely on technology built and supported by Coloradans. This is our lightning sensor. We have over 100 of these installed in the US. It has an antenna at the top that is similar to the AM antenna you might have in your car. An antenna which can listen for strong radio bursts hundreds of miles away. Vaisala, a Louisville-based company, has assembled their network of lightning detectors across the U.S. and the world. The data is used by airports and the National Weather Service and paints a beautiful picture of how lightning moves. And this is simply showing the rotation of the Earth and the late afternoon thunderstorms popping up in different regions based on the time of day. Last year in Colorado, we average around 500,000 uh, lightning flashes that hit the ground every year. The data shows there were 30,000 fewer strikes in Colorado, with an average of more than three strikes per square mile in Denver alone. While Colorado ranks 30th in the nation for strikes, those at Visala might argue we should rank first at tracking them. Those here at Visla hope that their technology will soon be able to pair with data from new satellite technology. By doing so, they hope to better understand lightning and how it could cause natural disasters like forest fires. In Louisville, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.